greasing the excavator today. What happened was this grease fitting and this grease line came apart. It's just a compression fitting back there. Right there, that middle one came apart and all. I just took it apart, put the uh, compression nut back on it and it's, it's fine now. So those two bottom lines feed the swing gear. So this first one right here, greases that so that must be like an external grease point that greases the outside of uh, the gear mechanism this middle one the one that wasn't working That spits out grease right there where that blob of grease is i thought it greased the actual gear but that doesn't appear to be the way it works so i think what happens is you use that fitting it oozes out there and then whenever you rotate the excavator that gear right here passes through that grease and it just spreads it all around the whole the whole way around the the gears here but we're going to test that theory and see what happens So that appears to be the way that thing works. I don't know for sure, but that's what uh, is logical to me, and that's what's what makes sense, I think. I don't see grease squirting from anywhere else around the gear. So I'm gonna call that fitting and that line okay. If anybody else knows differently, leave a comment of what your experience is. And uh, let's all learn together. And I cleaned this out up here. That's why it's wet. I sprayed it with the hose. There's a bunch of dirt under the frame here. But anyway, that's that's it. I'm gonna call it good. I discovered something today. And I took my bucket off because I wanted to show the parts before we went inside the cab and remove the bucket so a long time ago I watched a video from a very popular um, youtuber of how to remove a bucket from a quick coupler and after watching his video I came out to my excavator I went through the process and it worked so today I was having trouble getting the bucket off and part of the reason was the front lock was locked it was frozen it was rusted because i never change buckets ever so i got it fixed it's loosened up now it works fine and during that process i figured out that what i saw on the video wasn't how you actually activate the locking and unlocking of the wedge and the front lock so you know the, the video i saw you have to go through a, a large motion of curling the bucket out and curling the bucket in. Well, that is not necessary to get the bucket off from a quick coupler. So before we go into cab, this part right here is the wedge. Inside the cab, there's gonna be a, a button to push to unlock the wedge. This is it. This is part of the wedge as well. This piece will slide up 
and allow that pin the freedom to move out. The front lock is this piece right here. Right there. And that will unlock, it'll just go back whenever you say unlock front. And then whenever it's ready to be locked, it'll just spring right back out in this position and that'll be locked. And that's how it locks to the pins on the bucket. So let's go inside the cab. We'll unlock the wedge first because that's the first part you have to do. And then when you unlock the front, you'll have 10 seconds to move that bucket either on or off the pins depending on if you're taking the bucket on or uh, putting the bucket on or taking it off. And then after that 10 seconds, this will automatically lock. This will probably be a little difficult to see just because it's so far away from in the cab to out to the stick. But at any rate, this is the panel. This is the display panel where you do all your activities. The bottom button here, the bottom button here, right there, is for your bucket, your quick coupler. So when you push that, it has the option to unlock wedge. That's the only thing you can do. Unlock wedge and go back home. When I push this button, or whenever you push this button, this option right here to unlock the wedge, that is going to move that wedge piece up and out of the way on the rear pin. So I'm going to push it. Here, let me see if I can bring it closer. I'm going to go ahead and push the unlock wedge. Watch what happens. So I just barely, barely touched the curl and that activated the wedge to unlock. So now the, the wedge in the bucket can stay in this position forever. It'll just sit here and beep and beep and beep, and that would be really annoying. So at this point, the back pin on the bucket would be loose, and the only thing holding the bucket on would be that front pin, that front lock. So at this point, what you're gonna do what you do is press unlock front. Whenever you press that, that front lock is going to uh, disengage and allow that front pin to come out. So it's a little hard to see, and I'll see if I can capture here. So I'm gonna push the button and watch that top lock. There it is. Just that slight little movement unlocks the front pin, and then you have 10 seconds and after that 10 seconds, there you just saw, it automatically locks again. So again, you do press the unlock front. I pressed it, and it activated, it's unlocked. Then you can go ahead and curl. Your bucket drops off, and you're good to go. Once 10 seconds expires, the front lock will lock by itself, and there you go. So, let's go ahead and put the bucket on, and then we'll take the bucket off using the same method. All right, hopefully you can tell that the front lock is in the lock position right now. I'm gonna go ahead and push the button to unlock it. And it just unlocked. Ten seconds to get it on, and there, it just locked. Now that front pin is locked. 
and you can see how loose the bucket is because the rear wedge has not been engaged yet so we'll go ahead and we'll curl the bucket in now the bucket is resting on the back of that coupler and the wedge can be installed and you might be able to see it probably not but whenever I hit or whenever I press the lock wedge on the display hold on let me get a picture for you whenever I select that option lock wedge that's going to be the final step to lock the bucket in place so I'll go ahead and push that lock wedge now I can see the wedge moving so now I know that it's locked so the front lock and the wedge are both locked if I move my stick the bucket no longer bounces around and no longer swings on that front pin and now I'm free to dig wherever I want. Good and solid. Now to take the bucket off, we'll just press the coupler, unlock wedge. Okay, the wedge is unlocked. You see how loose it is? And then I'll select the option to unlock the front. It just unlocked. And I can take my bucket off. No big movements. No swinging. No, no curling the bucket completely out and completely back in. It's that simple. Now, to be fair to the other video that I watched about the quick coupler, it may have been a different kind of quick coupler. Its hydraulics may have been different. I don't know. But what I do know is it was a brand new 2015 3055 E2CR, which is exactly what this um, excavator is. And I'm pretty sure it's the same coupler. So I'm not quite sure. You know, back then it was brand new. Eh, maybe things were different back then I don't know but for me that's how it works and it's just that simple <laughs>